So inside the Magdan private jet, <laughs> this is definitely not inside a jet. Uh, I, 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 I couldn't have enough space to do uh, coverage in, this, in the jets itself uh, because there were a lot of people on board uh, the various uh, planes and so I decided to do some sort of a voiceover and rather show you highlights of it. So on Friday, I mean most of us probably have seen different videos and reports about uh, Magdan Aviation under the Magdan Group uh, launching a new uh, private jet terminal at the Kutuka International Airport. Uh, so on Friday, uh, an official launch was held at the at the terminal, and on Saturday, the following day, I had the opportunity to fly um, in it with a few other media personalities to to go to Takarade for a quick lunch and then head back to Accra. So I'm just going to share that experience with you and of course uh, show you inside the jet how it looks like. So I had not been there on Friday so I didn't know how the terminal looked like. Uh, so I went there and I was really impressed. Uh, so essentially it is the old terminal, uh, terminal one or the terminal two. Yes, the old domestic uh, airport, which was essentially a tent. Uh, uh, and of course, when Terminal 3 was built, uh, that one stop operation and activities rather moved to Terminal 2, which is now domestic uh, terminal. Uh, so yes, essentially it's that part which has been redesigned and beautifully so. Uh, by the Magdan Aviation. So when you enter, uh, it's just like most uh, terminals. There's arrival, there's departure. And so you go in, uh, but it's more of a lounge setting because of course, uh, for private jets, that's the uh, sort of experience you get. It's not a loud, uh, a large crowd. And so you don't need so much space um and the lounge is really cozy lots of space there's an aquarium there's a piano uh central uh in the space uh if you want to do some quick shop shopping like you do in order duty free uh shops at the airport we have something like that also uh it's quite small very boutique uh in nature and there are lots of different rooms where you can have uh, meetings um, and things. Because the concept of it is that people can have business meetings, they fly in, they book people uh, to come quickly have a meeting and then go back and things like that. So it's been built like that. So there's a lot of spaces for various kinds of business meetings or whatever. whatever. And um, so we went in, sat down, I experienced that. I went into one of the rooms uh, because there are en enclosed rooms and then there are open spaces uh, that you can sit and wait. And I think there's a place uh, for food and drinks. It's not all fully set up yet. I didn't see all of it in, in, uh, set up yet. And so it's pretty much every experience that you can get at the airport, but with luxury uh, connotations to it on every level and um, so I was waiting so we go through the part where we go to the tarmac and we, 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 we bought from from the terminal but uh, it's not it wasn't fully operational yet and so when we were ready to fly we had to go through the uh, the main domestic uh, 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 terminal uh, to go and then and then fly. So uh, there were two planes essentially. So there was a Challenger 604 Bombardier, um, which is branded Magdan, which is the one I sat in. It is um, a nine-seater uh, jet, 
um, that's the one I sat in. And then there was a, a, another one which I had a 14 uh, seater capacity. And that type is the uh, Global Express SRS. So these are the two uh, ones that we are using. So the, a bigger group went into that one and then a smaller group, uh, com including me, myself, including me, we sat in the uh, Bombardier and um, pretty much uh, that's when I actually experienced uh, the private jet and this is my first time in one so um, it was interesting they gave us welcome they uh, just like every flight does and then it was left for us to experience it um, it's, it's 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 very spacious uh, so there are, there are individual seats, about four of them, uh, and then there is uh, some sort of like a bench looking part uh, at the back, uh, which also can be turned into um, a bed, depending on uh, the capacity, the number of people in the flight, and if somebody wants to, at some point, if the long flight, they don't want to rest, uh, they can pull it and then uh, it becomes a bed and then you sleep you sleep in uh the bathroom really really nice uh the the toilet seat is very comfortable i didn't sit on it but i looked at it uh there's luxury everywhere it's sort of like leather uh leather seating uh and in the uh amenities or uh sanitary parts the kits uh there's almost everything you need there's a brush there is there is deodorant, there, is, there are towels, there are a lot of things just for you to feel fresh. And I, I mean, you can freshen up if you have to do so after sleeping and uh, you have a meeting uh, to catch on arrival. So uh, it's really, really spacious. And because it's a short, uh, short trip, uh, about 21 minutes, so there wasn't, it wasn't a full service sort of flight because we, again, we were going there uh, to to talk about it to go and eat so um we were served some nice in katia boga and then drinks uh so the compliment of uh we had champagne there was cognac there was whiskey there was everything that you would wanted and um we had a good uh sort of flight and then and and then when we arrived we went to a hotel called the palms by the eagles uh, it's in Takrady somewhere, I'm not so sure where. So we went in, we had lunch. And lunch was interesting, it was very, it, it felt like home food, you know. And um, I, I enjoyed some chicken and, 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 and rice, uh, had soup, goat soup, delicious. Um, and then had some dessert as well. And uh, I think we spent about, two hours in total at the hotel and then we headed back uh, so at this point um, there was a bit of a switch so that we could feel the other other but I, I didn't switch so uh, because this time most of my friends were coming to the jet that I used and so I stayed in them and um, we, we, we flew back um, very successfully uh, I mean the service is available now and the terminal is officially open but i'm sure they're going to do a little bit more work um to make it fully operational and uh, for me i think it's, it's very beautiful and uh, if you have the money uh, I, I hear that they charge per hour that's how the billing normally works so if you have money you want to go to kumasi if you want to go to takrade uh, in in your own private space, uh, are they alone or the group? Uh, you can charter one of these flights there, uh, and uh, also they travel around the world. I don't know the full itinerary as to the scope of where they can go and where they cannot go, but uh, I believe the certificate that Magdan Aviation has for this is quite uh elaborate it, it encompasses a lot they are able to do a lot of things within their aviation space and so I'm, i won't be surprised if literally they fly all over the world 
Uh, but yes, I enjoyed I enjoyed the flight. The, the attendants were very professional. Uh, the pilots very calm. Uh, they allow you to come and take pictures. Uh, very friendly. So, I mean, if you want to try it, give it a go. Uh, make sure you contact the Magdan group. And the good thing is the terminal is open. Uh, other private jets can use it and. In fact, you can find more details about the terminal in specific uh, on our website, anwaydevo.com. This was just for you to see inside of it. And um, yeah, cheers. Have a good one. I hope you enjoyed the content. Share it, comment, like.